This is Tom Blair with Inside Colorado Wrestling doing another episode of Boundary to Boundary Colorado High School Wrestling. Today's guest is Thunder Ridge coach Mike Carver. He's the head coach uh, as his freshman year as head coach or rookie coach. Uh, how's it going? It's going well. Um, we got a pretty young team overall, um, but I, I've, I've been pretty impressed with our work ethic the first couple of weeks of the season and coming into today. Um, we got some young guys in the lineup, a couple of, of freshmen uh, with not a lot of experience starting for us today, but um, you know, one of them's 2-0, our 13 pounder, Kyler uh, Pilgrim, um, so far today. So uh, he's, he's done a real nice job. Um, really good instincts for a young guy. Um, and you know, I, we do have a couple of, of pretty solid seniors uh, two returning state placers, Aiden Okamura at 126 and Brock Schilling at 195. Um, so I kind of look forward to big things from those guys. Okay. Um, so let the wrestling community know a little uh, about your background. Uh, what was your wrestling background and your coaching background? Sure. So um, I grew up in uh, Virginia, in Northern Virginia, and, and wrestled uh, in high school there. Um, I went on to college at James Madison University. Uh, and wrestled for a year there. Uh, I got my, I started coaching as an assistant um, for my old high school. Um, and then I moved uh, up to Massachusetts where I was a head coach at Brookline High School for uh, 12 years. Um, well, when did you coach there? Um, I coached there from 03 oh, to 2015. Right. Um, and then I took a couple years off and before I came out to Colorado in 2017. And oh, I've been at Thunder Ridge since. Right. Okay. Um, the reason I asked about that, uh, I went to college in, in Boston area at Emerson College. Okay. And I, uh, my head coach there at Emerson College was uh, James Peckham, so I didn't know yeah. if you knew him or not. Yes, I do, yeah. Uh, great coach. A lot of knowledge in that man. Yeah, so... Um, so when did you uh, take over? Well, you took over this year, as I stated before. Uh, were you an assistant coach before at Thunder Ridge? Yeah, so I've been an, an assistant coach there for the last two years. Um, and uh, the former coach, Casey Paul, uh, retired from, from coaching at the end of last season. So, uh, so it's my first year at the helm. Okay. How do you like it so far? I'm loving it, actually. Um, I'm having a I'm having a blast in the room every day and um, watching our kids develop. You know, uh, we have, like I said before, we have a young team. We have 40, 40 kids on our roster, and 20 of them are freshmen. Um, so, you know, we're we're taking it slow right now and and doing a lot of teaching and and slowing things down in the room a little bit. Um, I think as we now that we've kind of separated our our varsity lineup from our JV lineup, we're, we'll pick up the pace now. Uh, as we move into December, getting getting ready for tournament time. Okay, um, heading into the season, uh, did you do any preseason workout with the kids, or schedule anything? Yeah, we had. Um, you know, we a lot of our kids are football players, so um, we didn't have a ton of kids in our preseason workouts. But we we did have uh, uh, workouts uh, one or two nights a week uh, during the uh, during the fall, you know, September, October, um, leading into the start of the season in November. Okay. Um, what does your schedule look like for this season? Did um, you make any overhaul changes? No, no actually no, no changes at all, really. Um, you know, we're here at Broomfield. Um, we'll head to uh, Lewis Palmer tournament next Saturday. Uh, and then we're at the uh, Northern Colorado Christmas tournament, um, which I really like. I, I like the way that tournament for me, is is a state tournament feel, and I think it's good for the kids to, to get that experience, um, to kind of feel what it's like to be in that environment, state tournament type environment. Um, and then our varsity guys get a little bit of time off um, that we don't wrestle again until um, I think January eighth is our our first dual meet. 
of the season, our, our weeknight dual meet. Um, and, uh, and we wrestle a lot of dual tournaments. Uh, Legend, we'll be at Legend, Fairview for their duels. Um, and then we're down at the state dual tournament uh, in Pueblo in February. Yeah, that gives the kids a lot of uh, mat time because you have a, at least five uh, meets that you can schedule during one day mm -hmm. uh, compared to uh, tournaments where they can go to and out and be sitting in the bleachers. Right. Um, what does your coaching staff look like for this season? Um, so no uh, major changes um, besides obviously myself. Um, we have uh, Jim Flynn, who is a longtime assistant coach at Thunder Ridge. Uh, he was a, a Division One wrestler at the University of Missouri, um, but he, he's he'd been with Casey Paul for sixteen or seventeen years. So he is he stayed on staff. Mark Carnes is also another one of our assistants, and he's the strength and conditioning coach at the high school. Um, and the addition uh, of Jonah Holden, a, a former state qualifier for Thunder Ridge, is uh, he's working with our heavy guys. Um, so he's the only new new coach, um, and we have some some other guys that, that come in and out of the room um, to help out. Okay, what are your season goals for uh, the team and for individuals? Um, you know, I think first being my first year uh, in charge of the program, it's really important for me to establish uh, a culture. Um, that's that's probably the biggest goal. Um, you know, that's kind of outside of of wins and losses, but. But I think to to build a culture in, in our room where um, where our guys are really become wrestlers and they they take wrestling seriously um, and they commit to it um, and and they they realize that it's it's not just a, a one season sport that they can continue to to improve even in the off season. So setting those expectations for our guys um, that's that's probably my biggest goal in terms of um, on the mat and our success on the mat. You know we uh, we've been kind of a middle of the road team the last couple of years. I think, you know, we've started off today nicely with two wins. So um, I think, you know, overall, as, as we wind down the season, I look for us to be um, well well above, you know, a 500 team. Um, and then, you know, I, 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 we, we have two returning state placers. Um, I think I would like the, to see some of our, our upperclassmen who haven't quite gotten to that level yet right. um, qualifying for the state tournament. I think we can have four or five state qualifiers this year. That's my goal for, for our individuals. Okay. Well, um, thank you for your time today. Uh, this is Tom Blair with Inside Colorado Wrestling. Uh, good luck in the season, Coach Carver. Thank you.